Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of American and Germany, today in Ireland together with Morgan Ging from Ballykeef Distillery. What a pleasure it is. I didn't even know this place existed a year ago, but did it exist a year ago? No, it was in construction phase a year ago. Uh, we did our first commissioning in August last year. Mm -hmm. So today we're producing whiskey, pure pot stilled, malt, and we do a gin and a vodka as well. We have a putchin, which is an Irish unaged whiskey on the market. Excellent. Now, is this a dream come true? Or what was the reason that you as a farmer decided to start making whiskey legally? Yes, this is, it is a dream come true for us. Uh, I tried this process 25 years ago, but mm -hmm. we couldn't get the license. It was more difficult in Ireland then yeah. to achieve a license for it. So about five years ago, the license came available, Jason. So we decided to go for it. Mm -hmm. And today here we have a shiny new distillery on our family farm where our sustainability is number one. We don't uh, have any waste product leave the site. Yeah. Uh, the pot ale and the spent grains go to feed the beef animals outside the door here mm -hmm. and any wash down we we neutralize that in a big tank outside to the pH of water and we land spread it so we're very pleased with our sustainability uh, wow. part of the business. Um, I heard something about whiskey steaks would you like to elaborate on that for a second? Yes we, we did some trials with our beef with some of the uh, butchers and uh, hotels in, in Kilkenny here and in Dublin went down very well so it's a new part of our business we're now going to see about growing that as Ballykeef whiskey steaks wow. the flavor <laughs> is extremely good with the pot ale and the uh, distiller's grain so yeah. we're currently we, we graze them on our land mm -hmm. and then we bring the animals in for a hundred days intensive finish in the shed here beside mm -hmm. us to add that flavor to the meat yeah fabulous I'm, I'm sure a lot of my friends in germany are licking their lips and going oh i'd love to have that all right, very, very good. Now, when can we expect to have the first whiskey? Will it really be three years on one day? Or are you going to wait a little bit longer? What are your plans there? Our plans are for the three years on one day. Yep. Cast, some of the casks are maturing quite nicely. Mm -hmm. uh, cask number seven there I showed you inside in the bar is a uh, great color to it and mm -hmm. some lovely notes coming into it. Still very young at 10 months old, but uh, we feel it will be ready in, in the three years mm -hmm. and we're, we're going to bring it to market. All right, very, very good. And your barrels, where do you get them from? We source our barrels in America, they're first filled bourbon. Mm -hmm. uh, currently we've Jack Daniels barrels mm -hmm. here. Yep. Um, we, we find them quite good, we're happy with them. Okay, very, very good. What are the plans for the future? What, what's next after the three year inaugural release? What are your dreams and hopes? Well, we, we, three years will be our pot still, our traditional Irish pot still. Mm -hmm. Six months after that, we have a malt coming mm -hmm. on. Um, we're, we grew some rye barley on the farm here last year, so we're oh. going to have a rye whiskey then within a year of our, our first release. Okay, that's something I've heard a few times now in Ireland. Mm -hmm. Irish rye, rye whiskey. I'm looking forward to that because I love my rye. Very, very good. Now, um, what was the biggest problem, if I may ask, for you personally to have a distillery on your farm? What was the biggest hindrance you had to overcome? Um... It went smooth enough. Oh, good. It went smooth enough. Uh, we, we got our planning and we got our, our builders in and we got the... It just didn't seem to move fast enough for me, <laughs> but in hindsight, it did move fast yep. enough. You know, it, it takes time. It's a lot of, a lot of equipment, mm -hmm. a lot of tying up together, a lot of services had to come in. Uh, but it, it's, it's making very, very good spirits. We're very pleased with the spirit coming off the stills. Mm -hmm. uh, I must say the equipment is working quite well. Um, I No regrets. Very yep. pleased. May I ask where the equipment came from? Um, Ir Ireland does not have their own pot still maker yet, so I guess you had to source it from Scotland. No, we sourced ours in Italy from oh. uh, Barrison Industries okay. in, in uh, Italy. Yeah. Uh, they came in and they, they did uh, more nearly a turnkey operation with yeah. the equipment. Mm -hmm. uh, it was very good, we're very pleased, no regrets going that route. Yeah. It's running very, very well for us. Yeah. All right. I still love the color of the pot still. We can slowly see a little bit of the color changing, but yet they're, they're still almost pristine. It's very, very, very nice. All right, very, very good. So Whiskey Jason here, Whiskey from the Viewpoint of American in Germany, but today I'm in Ireland together with... Morgan Ging of Ballykeef Distillery. And I thank you very much for this wonderful time together. Thank you, Jason. All Pleasure. the best. <laughs> thank you.